Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see here. You can now see my screen. Let me find. Okay. Uh, Kanya, Karen, Brittany Albers, I see you. Is everything look okay? You can see it. Okay. So welcome to March. It is going to be such a fun month and I'm so excited about it. There's something about every March that is just, it just like is, is exciting. I don't know another word to say it. So, but before we get into all the fun things happening, I want to celebrate um, these guys right here who ranked up last month. We had two people um, double rank uh, Krista, who ended up going to gold, and then Brittany uh, Silver had two new silvers, Crystal and Callie. So just you guys, that is a big deal. And I, y'all, my internet, I just get the little things, my internet's unstable, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, these six people also earned the bento box. Um, so we've got Brittany, Crystal, Callie, Crystal, um, Tiffany, and Emily. So congratulations to you guys. I'm a little jealous. That was one of the ones that I did want to make it last month, but <laughs> um, you'll have to show it to us because it looked really neat. Okay, and then we're going to jump right into March. We have lots of things going on this month. Um Tonight, we have our team call with Lisa McVeigh. I'm sorry, I spelled your name wrong on the calendar, Lisa, um, your last name. Um, and this is also our final book study for, for um, the Power of Five. So we're going to finish up this. And then next week, we start our new book study. Um, I think I have a post. I don't know if it's in. I think I do. Yeah, so I'm not going to talk about that now. Um, this week, we are having an in challenge for our event it's going to be next week so not this thursday next thursday but we're doing challenge now so that you have time to get samples out to your people and so it's going to be a quick 15 minute zoom we are going to do just like talk a little bit about what the slim is what it does a little science about it and um, what it can help you with and then we're just going to have a few people like real quick like one sentence things of what it's helped them with. So kind of like a pop-up little event. So that's going to be really cool on the 14th. So make sure that you mark your calendars for that. Um, this Wednesday, we're having the Boise service project. So Emily has been planning that and you guys know what you're doing there, but wanted to put it on the calendar. Um, then we will have our golden above call on the 21st. And then um, something we're going to, do um this week right here the 18th through the 22nd we are going to have a challenge because a lot of you said that you don't use samples because nobody ever joins you after a sample so um there are a couple of reasons for that and obviously not everyone that you send a sample to will join you will order but it is a very necessary step in a a lot of people need a sample. And so I think it's an underutilized tool that our team isn't really using. And so we're going to help you how to follow up after you send a sample. So this team-wide follow-up challenge is going to be following up in general, but we're also going to be talking about how to follow up after a sample. And then um, the 28th, we're going to have an opportunity Zoom. It's called It's Not All Luck. And Carly Owens is taking the lead for that. Um, and she's going to be planning all of that for us. So there will be more info to come on what it's going to be like. But that is her thing. I don't have anything to do with it other than what she tells me. So she's running with it. Can I interrupt for just a second, Kara? Yeah. I know it's kind of cutting out. I'm trying to put in little things in the chat. So if you guys have questions that are cutting out, just put it in the chat and I can try to help answer. It's okay, Kara. Um, but 
one of the things that we're really excited about with the sample group is Kara actually did a post in our jewel page and just said, Hey, you guys, and you know, the jewel page obviously is just for people who are jewels with Plexus, uh, emerald all the way to diamond. And she said, Hey guys, like if you started Plexus based off of a sample, will you comment below? And Kara, I don't even know how many people commented, but so many jewels got started just on a few sticks of slim or even just like one, like they, they tried something and that got them hooked. And so I think we have kind of stepped away from doing this, but I'm really, really excited to bring this back because I think that this is a really incredible follow-up tool even if you don't get a ton of people that sign it creates a lot of conversation and i know for us like we started with a sample i say sample tamra sent us a lot but still like we started with her giving us something to try so i'm really excited about that okay um i think that was all the majority. We, oh, the Ruby and Above calls started. They're going to be on Sunday nights. They started last night. Y'all are going through a book study. I wanted to put those on the calendar just for you guys. Um, and then we'll just have our normal accountability group and book study on Monday nights. Did I miss anything else as far as calendar goes? Just the Star Diamond Rising Challenge that oh. they're doing every single day. Um, you know, I put it in our team page leaders who go up show up or leaders show up leaders who show up go up i remember that being a phrase when i first started um with plexus seven years ago and that still rings true to this day don't let overwhelm um get in your way i think a lot of times we let the thoughts of all the things that we need to do create this overwhelm and we're not actually doing anything and so i encourage everybody to utilize and this is i guess Kara's probably about to start talking about that sorry i didn't even realize the screen but that is something that i really would love to see every single person who is serious about growing their business to show up and do, at least watch and do one thing a day from that challenge yes um, I am trying something new and put a QR code on here. So if you are not in the group, you should be able to scan the QR code and it should take you to the group. If it doesn't work, then find the post in Rising Jewels because it's it's new for me, but I tried. <laughs> so yes, the Star Diamonds Rising, there's going to be daily posts in there, daily prizes that they're giving away. Um, and and of course you're learning from star diamonds. That is what we want to like, they've, they have made it to diamond, not just once, like they just didn't hit it once. They have developed three or more unique jewel legs. So just so for reference, like we all know lo and love Emily, Emily is a two, like she has two individual jewel legs. So these three star diamonds and above However many stars they have, that's how many different jewel legs that they have. So make sure you join that. Um, lots of good content. So this is our new book study that we are starting next Monday. Um, we've done it by team. We've done it by rank. And then this time we are just going to do like a pick your own, whatever you feel like you want more growth in. So we have a leadership study. Um, that's going to be led by Emily and myself. And we have a skill set study that's going to be led by Liz, Lacey, and Hannah. And then we have a mindset study. And that's going to be led by Kanya, Nancy, and Abby, right? So um, grab your book or the skill set study is a podcast. Um, and so we're going to start that next week. We're going to do accountability and then we'll break up into the different book studies rooms for that. about that M as far as like getting in a group or like yeah, do I they was, need to have I, anything prepared for next week I was just gonna say in the chat actually I was gonna say everybody go comment on this post we actually have this graphic in rising jewels um so comment on that post which group you'd like to be in and then all of us leaders will put you guys in a thread so that way we can communicate with how we're gonna get started next week perfect Okay, um, March incentives. So corporate is doing lots of fun things. And I think we are all excited about the Apple Watch. 
Um, so if you earn or enroll six new VIPs with a 100 PV order, now this is not $100, it's 100 PV. So just make sure that that clarification is there. You will get to earn an Apple Watch and then you can actually add 12 and get two. Um, so that is a really exciting thing. I'm wearing a current a Plexus Apple Watch right now from the last time that they did it. Um, and it is one of my favorite gifts that I've ever gotten from Plexus. Um, and I know that every single one of us can, can do it. And I, I, I wasn't planning on sharing the story, but I'm going to share it anyway. When I was, um, a gold back in 2019 in the month of March, they did, um, an iPad thing. You had to enroll six and you got an iPad. And up until that point, the most I had ever, ever enrolled was five. I had been at the business for 15 months and five was my max. I could not go any more than five. And so I started March and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to earn an iPad. I'd never had an iPad before. And so I was going to do it. And then I enrolled six that month. And so I just want you to believe that you can do it. Like if you believe that you can do it, you can do it. And so don't let like, oh, I've never enrolled that many before. Like, don't let those thoughts come to you because if you say, oh, I've never done that before, you're going to not do it. So believe that you can do it. Uh, we also have free resets. Um, I just wanted to put this little graphic in here because you do need to have the combo plus a reset in there to use the code to get the reset for free. So if you have questions about this, this is in the help center. But um, every single, <coughs> excuse me, combo over 100 PV or more, you can add the reset, get a reset for free. I would encourage you to maybe do a little reset with your team, like with like kind of say like, hey, I'm doing this reset at the end of March. Who wants to do it with me? You get to do it for free. Um, that could be a really good way to create, to get your enroll, your enrollments um, and kind of build that community within your own team. Um, and then we have give 10 and save 10. These are the same incentives that we've had for the last few months. So there's nothing new about them, but I just wanted to put them on here. So if you're not doing a free reset, if they don't want a free reset, um, you can do the $10 off $100. Or if they did not um, make an order last month, you can give them the save 10. So this will be like for your current customers. Um, and then the last thing is the rank rewards. And um, there's a lot of info about this. We don't, I don't know if you want to get into the nitty gritty on this call right now, Em, or if you want to just say, go read the help center, go read the post in Rising Jewels. And if you have questions, come to us. But this is really exciting. And this is my last slide before you end. So I didn't know if you wanted to talk about it. Um, and you can go from there. Yeah, so real quick, this is actually something that the advisory board has been working on for a really long time. We've really been pushing this because let's let's think about that. Like if you ranked gold and you end the month like five points shy of gold, you don't really necessarily miss out on anything. Like there's not necessarily anything that's pushing you to re-rank to get those next five points points, right? Like, yeah, you might make a little bit of pay points on that, but that's not like a really big push. You know, with jewels, you get a pay pool. And so when you hit your, you know, your highest achieved, you get that, or whenever you hit your jewel numbers, you get a pay pool. So like that really does encourage jewels to work hard to maintain or to grow. Whereas anybody from, you know, brand new all the way to senior Ruby, there's not necessarily that like consistency bonus or anything. And so we've really been working hard on um, pushing this rank rewards and um, they're going to be doing it for the next three months. So this is like a trial and I'm really excited about it. If you have questions, feel free to message me because I have had a lot of people a little confused. Basically, if you hit gold to senior gold points, so 100 pay points all the way to like, you know, beyond 750. If you hit gold to senior Ruby points, then you Not will get, um, you Not will get, uh, you will get a bonus. So let's say, 
Kara, I'm just going to pretend, let's pretend Kara is a senior Ruby. Okay, let's say her highest achieved is a senior Ruby. And let's say in the month of February, she was down to Ruby points. So hopefully this is making sense. So she's down to Ruby points in February. Her goal in March is to maintain, like to reach that those Ruby points again. And if she reaches those Ruby points again, which is 500 pay points, then she's going to get a $200 bonus. If she reaches the senior Ruby, her highest achieve, she's actually going to get $250 for her bonus. And so it goes back to gold. So, so if you are a gold ambassador, but you haven't hit gold in a couple of months, your goal is to have 100 pay points for this month of March. And you will absolutely get it if you are focusing on the free reset for basically any new ambassador or any new VIP. And if you're focused on getting that Apple Watch for yourself, and like Lacey said, you're helping your teammates get that Apple Watch as well. Like there's so many things that Plexus has like laid out for us to help us achieve those rank rewards because we want to see wins. We want to see people pushing and then they're going to have something really fun at the end of this quarter to helpful, hopefully excite you about your rank up. So your goal is your goal is always you want to be moving forward in your business. And so Plexus is doing what they can to reward you for that. As a leader, you reward for the behavior you want. We want to see everybody hitting their rank and rising in their rank. So if you have questions, feel free to message me. It is a little complicated, but I am so excited to introduce. We took a little bit longer than we meant to. I'm really excited to introduce Lisa McVeigh. As you guys saw, um, we actually never had um, a non jewel share on our Monday night team calls. And when I told her that, that made her a little bit nervous. Um, and she is, she is amazing. And she said, okay, this makes me really nervous. I'm really scared, but I'm going to do this. I, I'm happy to do this. And so you guys, I'm so thankful that you all are on here to support here, her and to hear her story. The very first time I met her was actually on the bus. We swept the cruise contest. And so I saw this beautiful woman with gorgeous eyes sitting behind me on the bus with her mother. And we started to talk and she shared a little bit of her story. And she is in the same line as our friend who's a diamond. She actually has spoken to our team before. Her name's Darcy Groton. So she Lisa's in her downline. And so getting to know Lisa and then talking to Darcy a little bit about Lisa and Lisa's story, I was like, absolutely, we've got to have Lisa come and share her story because I think a lot of us are going to find inspiration from this. So um, Lisa, thank you so much for being on and we're gonna pass it over to you. Oh, well, thank you for that beautiful introduction. And thank you again for having me on the call. Uh, yes, it is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but when Emily told me, I mean, my first instinct was run, but um, then I said, you know what? Yes, I will do it because as we all know, if we aren't doing things that we're scared of every day, we're not growing. And that's something that I have really stepped into in the last year and a half is doing things scared um, so that I can finally start growing. But we'll go back to the beginning. Um, my story actually starts well before I um, was introduced to Plexus. I've always been very much into health and wellness. I minored in nutrition. Um, I was always, you know, onto the next health fad. You know, I was, I mean, I don't, uh, and uh, I, I was a vegetarian for a while. I don't advise that, but I just was always really into health and wellness. Um, and when I had, uh, my first child, my health deteriorated, um, I was diagnosed with, uh, autoimmune disease of Hashimoto's. I literally felt like I'd been hit by a bus. And I remember thinking, oh, this is not how moms must feel. Like, how do new moms do it? Like, I just couldn't understand how moms could do it. And when I finally went to the doctor and got blood work, she literally looked at me and she said, I don't know how you're standing right now because my numbers were so off. So I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's. I had a really, really rough start to motherhood, um, came with, you know, all the exhaustion, auto, um, you know, joint pain, brain fog, all the things, and just trying to be a mom. But I made it through, you know, went on to um, get pregnant with our second child. And after um, I had her, um, my health totally deteriorated again. And this time I was bedridden with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, so it was that uh, hormone switch and the stress of having the pregnancies um, and the lack of sleep that really um, just was like the last drop in my body. So that's when my dive into gut health um, really began. I started researching, you 
know um, what I could do to reverse this, how I could feel better holistic ways. Um, and so I started, um, started a GAPS diet um, and then I went into a paleo diet and eventually um, an autoimmune paleo diet. But I also got to the point um, as I was starting to do all my research where research where I literally could not get out of bed. I could not lift my baby. Um, I could not take care of my children. I would have to take a scalding bath in the morning and have my husband take me out just so that I could get moving. Um, so I did have to go on medication at that time. Um, and as I was starting the medication, I was also, you know, like I said, really starting to research into um, alternatives to help regain my health. Um, so the medication started working. Um, it helped with the joint pain, but I literally felt like every cell in my body was dying. Like I would fall asleep in the middle of the day while I was trying to take care of my kids, swinging them on the swing set, and I would just fall asleep. Um, so I went off the medication cold turkey, did a deep dive into the autoimmune paleo diet and was really able to alleviate a lot of my symptoms and did that for a few years, but I still was having to do a course of steroids like every three months. Um, and I don't know if you know anything about steroids, but they're really hard on the body. Um, so it was a blessing and a curse. The blessing was I could move and I could show up and, um, you know, I could walk and I could take care of my kids. Um, but you know, the curse was all the underlying damage that was happening, um, while I was on those. So I hit what I like to call kind of like my, um, my rock bottom in my health. I, I lived a very full life. I was doing all the right things. I was um, doing that nutrient dense autoimmune paleo diet, Bikram yoga, five days a week, daily detoxes, meditation, clean water, all the things this, you know, I don't know if you know anything about the autoimmune paleo diet, but it's very nutrient dense. I was fueling my body with all the right things. And I was still really, really, really struggling. And it was right around this time when I started seeing my friend post about the pink drink. And I rolled my eyes and I literally remember, and this was somebody, this is somebody who I trusted. And, you know, we had done all of the, you know, all the latest health trends, you know, when we had, uh, you know, lived our younger lives together, you know, every new like detox and, you know, the fat flush and, you know, all this stuff that came up, we were doing together. So I knew that we had been through some of the health, same health struggles. And so I started getting really curious and watching her. And I honestly, at first was like, oh my God, what is this pink concoction? I would never, ever put anything with chemicals and dyes in my body. Like, what is she doing? But then she started talking about gut health. And again, I was like, what does she know about gut health? I've been in this gut health world for like, you know, two and a half years, three years straight. This has, you know, been my life, you know, I'm studying about all the things and she's posting about this gut health, but I stalked her. I never reached out to her. I never commented on any of her posts because I did not want her to reach out to me. Um, but I watched her and I continued to watch her and I started to feel something that I hadn't felt in a long time. I started to feel hope. And I was like, what if this really does work? What if this, this is that thing that really does work? So after five months of watching her, I finally reached out, it took me another three months of thinking about it before I finally started the products. And uh, when I said that I had felt like I had hit rock bottom, I had, um, despite doing all the right things, I had to get my left wrist fused because the joint damage was too bad. Um, I was having horrible brain fog, constipation, um, all kinds of digestive issues, um, daily headaches. Every time after I ate and I ate a very good diet, I would get this otherworldly, like kind of like out of body experience, um, which I now know is related to candida. Um, so despite doing all the right things, I was still really struggling. So when I started on Triplex, I knew that I had to give it my all. I was like, I'm going to be committed to this. I'm going to be consistent. I'm not going to miss a day, no matter what. When I told my husband I was doing it, he said, no, you're not. You're not spending a hundred dollars on one more thing. That's not going to work because he had seen me go through all the things. I had a huge supplement graveyard, which is what I like to call it now, because I would buy all the things, try all the things they wouldn't work. And I'd move on to the next thing. So I got my sister, my mom, and my best friend to start with me. And I signed them on at the time as preferred clients because I just needed that money to pay for my welcome pack. And at the time, I don't know that there was fast start because I didn't know about it. My products came in. I was very, very disciplined, took them every single day. It was right around the three month mark, right about the middle of in between three and four, where I remember I was driving and I literally felt like my head had been lifted above the clouds. I realized that I did not have daily headaches anymore. 
I felt little bubbles of joy, which is something that I hadn't felt in a long time, because when you live a life of chronic pain, you lose your zest for life and you lose joy. So I literally felt little bubbles of joy and I was happy. And I remembered, I mean, I was thinking about how I was pooping regularly and I wasn't having sugar cravings. And I called my friend and I said, I really think there is something to this. Because if it can help me, then it can help so many people. And it was at that moment that I decided that I needed to share. So it was a good three and a half, four months before I started sharing. I'd started the products in February. I started sharing at the end of May. And it's actually funny that she had mentioned um, about the iPad. Because my friend kept asking me, do you want to share? And I was like, no, I don't want to share. Like, I have to see, you know, if these products really work. And that month was the month that they did the iPad. And I saw her earning the iPad. And I was like, if she can do this, then I can do this. I want an iPad. You know, so don't hesitate to be sharing about the watch because people are watching. So it was also at that time that I went into, um, I had started my um, certification as a nutritional therapist. So I had started that course right around the time I had my breakthrough. That course was a year long. Um, everything that we learned in that course are the pillars of health. Just what Plexus teaches us too, that blood sugar regulation, gut health, underlying inflammation, and nutrient absorption are the pillars of health. And if you aren't addressing these, then you're not going to be getting anywhere. So everything really aligned perfectly. I was having my health breakthrough. I was learning that everything was tied together. I was basically getting, you know, the, the positive feedback from this nutrition course that I was in while I was getting um, the positive health effects from Plexus. So I started sharing. I went silver. Um, at the end of May, I added three people in the last five days of the month, went senior silver after that. And then we had our leaders retreat contest um, that was going on. I had no idea it was even going on. My friend said, what are your LR points? And I said, what's LR? And it happened in August and they doubled points. And so I got out my pen and my paper and I was like, I don't even know what this is, but I figured out what I needed to do. I promoted my husband to silver and I added, I think, six people and I earned my first leaders retreat in San Diego. So I went gold that month. I went gold that month and um, went to my first leaders retreat, was able to take my best friend. And we had two other friends who went to and it was amazing. So my belief was really, really high then. It was awesome. Um, I continued with my course, which took up all of my time for the next year, but I was still able to be adding customers and helping them with their health stories as well. Um, fast forward to February of 2020, I graduated from nutritional therapy school ready to continue with the Plexus business and start my own private practice. A week later, we got shut down with COVID. So it was at that time I couldn't, I realized, you know, that I couldn't really be starting my own practice. Some mind stuff stuff started to creep in, but I just continued with Plexus. Um, all through this time though, I never had the confidence to share about the business. There was just some sort of mind set block for me and I wasn't able to share about the business, but I had so many people coming to me for the products and I was helping so many people with their health. It was, um, Right around, I think it was 2020, September. Also, I went senior gold, um, was really excited about that. I had one friend doing the business with me. Um, we had a lot of happy product users. And for some reason, right when I went senior gold that next month, I hit a, um, a really huge mindset block. I became paralyzed almost. It was like, oh no, I'm here. Now I'm going to lose it all. So I don't know if you've ever felt that way where you get to a certain point and then you're just afraid you're going to lose it. Like you work so hard to get there and then you're afraid you're going to lose it. Well, that's what happened. Um, so that's really when some mindset stuff started. Um, and then uh, fast forward uh, six months and my sponsor uh, leaves me a voicemail. She's also my best friend saying that she's quitting. Um, that she uh, doesn't want to do the business anymore. She doesn't believe in the business. Um, she's going to a leggings company. She wants to know if I want to do that too, but she understands if I don't. And so again, a whole bunch of mind stuff come up. Am I doing the right thing? Am I going to miss out if I don't jump in on this other company? And I talked to Darcy. Um, she kind of, you know, I kind of said, listen, if I'm going to stick with them, so I'm really going to need you to like take me under your wing. Like I, I can't do this by myself. And so she did. And I did a lot of um, thinking and just knew that I was in the right place. But I was stuck. I was stuck. I stayed at Senior Gold. Um, I even dipped down, I think, at one point to gold points. Um, and still, you know, just back and forth in between gold and Senior Gold. Um, finally was able to maintain Senior Gold again. And um, it was about this time that my sponsors started um, a breakthrough coaching group. 
Um, and they were only letting a few people in, people that they really saw potential in. And I will tell you that Darcy and Emily Fennell, um, I would not be here if it weren't for them because at my lowest and at my darkest times, all the times, they continually poured belief in me. I never had confidence. I never believed in myself. I never thought that I could do this. I did not think I had gifts to share. Um, I had all the training and gut health, y'all. I even went on to get another certification as um, an autoimmune paleo certified health coach. I had all the training, but had zero self-confidence. And these two women continually told me how much how many gifts I had to share. And they continue to pour belief in me when I didn't believe in myself. And so that's um, kind of like when this breakthrough group started, um, I realized that, you know, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm either going to be stuck or I need to move forward because I had been stuck at senior gold for two years. And I was on a call with Emily and Darcy and they were telling, talking about how, um, they uh, still got scared when um, they did certain things or they got on certain calls and they got nervous or they would do a certain post and they would, you know, you know, be so fearful about it and then just do it anyway. And I was like, wait, what? You're still scared sometimes when you do this? You still have this stuff going on in your head too? And it was at that moment when I was like, okay well, do I want to continue to be a scared senior gold or do I want to be a scared diamond? I, I would much rather be a scared diamond. So it was at the point where I was like, excuse my language, but shit or get off the pot. Like something's got to give. So that's when I dove into personal growth and mindset stuff, which I had poo-pooed before. Like, I don't have time for that. I needed to be doing IPA. I need to be reaching out about the products. I don't need, you know, have time to work on my mindset, you know, blah, 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 all the stuff. It's a thing. I dove into mindset. I started doing podcasts. I was in that coaching group uh, where we were all talking about, um, you know, just the things that we struggle with. Good to see that I wasn't the only one struggling with this. Other people were struggling with the same mindset issues. I went to convention in Ohio. I went by myself. Like I said, I was just maintaining senior goal by myself. I had all my upline there, Darcy, and um, all my sideline sisters. And I looked at Darcy and I was like, you know what, next year I'm coming here with the team. I'm like, I'm done with this. Like, I don't want to be here. I mean, I know you guys are here, but I don't want to be here by myself. Like, I want a team to do this with. So I made that commitment to go with the team the next year. And when I got home, I, um, I knew that I had to start reaching out about the business. I dove into Christina Williams and Brittany Howard's YouTube videos, and I just consumed all of them. I needed to hear them because I needed to listen to them over and over again so that I would start believing in myself and I would start believing in the business. And I will never forget when I reached out to my friend, Abby, who I have also gone to nutritional therapy school with. She, um, she's just such a smart person. She was running her own online nutrition business. She was a nurse. She was a holistic um, birth assistant, all the things. Um, and she was also a new mom. And so I was like, I bet that she wants to stay home with that baby. So I was so nervous, but I reached out to her um, and I set up a call with her and I had never done this with anyone before. So before I got on that scheduled call with her, I listened to Brittany Howard's video three times, y'all. This is an hour long video. I listened to it over and over again while I was cleaning my kitchen about what are you believing in this opportunity? And it fueled the belief in me. And I repeated the stuff that she said on that video to Abby and it fueled the belief in her. And she joined me that day. She joined me that day. She's one of my best business builders. I've just watched her cross the stage as a senior gold while we were at leaders retreat. She has earned the last two leaders retreats. It was that fuel that I needed and that belief that, oh, there are other people out there who want to do this. It's not just me. I started reaching out more about the business. I got some more business builders. We have a great, great group. I have one more um, girl from the nutritional therapy business. I asked my physical therapist because she was struggling with RA to do the business with me. She's doing the business with me now. And that began the, that's when our gut health chat was born. I put all of my girls, they were like five of us at the time, into this chat. They named themselves the Healthy Gut Gals. And that is the chat that we still use when we add new business builders and new people who are interested in the business in there. And this is our celebration chat. This is our, we build each other up chat. Every time somebody adds a new VIP, does a scary reach out, you know, reaches a rank up, um, encourages a level one to post or adds a level two, we are shouting them out in that chat. So it is just 
we have fun. We have fun. We build each other up with belief. And I really think that that chat has been the vehicle that has really propelled our momentum. We're in really good momentum right now um, with everything going on. Um, but when we started adding, I was still senior gold, adding all these people, working towards this. November of last year, uh, I'm sorry, not November of last year, but November the year before, I was really, really close to Ruby. And I was like, I think that we can really do this. My husband and I got in a fight that November. Um, I think it was a few weeks into the November. He found out how much money I was spending on Plexus products. And he never had been really super supportive with me doing Plexus before because I was spending a lot of money on the products, not bringing a ton of money in. And I had told him that I would be able to, to be, you know, be bringing in a significant income of this. So he unfriended me on Facebook, y'all. He unfriended me on Facebook. And we weren't speaking for like a week. And this is when I was going for Ruby. So at that moment, I could have been like, I can't do this. I can't do this. My husband's not talking to me. He unfriended me on Facebook. You know, he's embarrassed of me. I'm talking, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all these things. But I honestly, at that point, I sat down and I said, you know what? This is the devil talking. This is the devil trying to put all these things in my way when I have a goal in front of me. I have people who are depending on me, people who are, you know, looking to me for what to do in situations like this. So we persevered. I pulled through. Um, I ranked Ruby with three days to spare. My husband didn't even know I ranked Ruby because he wasn't on Facebook. So he didn't know that I ranked Ruby until he overheard Darcy congratulating me on the phone. But anyway, that just set the tone for some good momentum. We went through December, January. I had three of my girls go gold. I went senior Ruby. Um, and since then, we have had a few people come and go. Um, I don't want to say that we've moved backwards because we haven't. We have steadily moved forward. There have been months where we've gone a little bit backwards, but we always come back up. And I want to tell you guys that I am okay with this. I know that we see a lot of people coming into this right now and ranking up really fast. And I know your sponsors may have ranked up fast. My sponsor ranked up fast. I think that she, you know, was Emerald within the first year and a half. Um, but I think that we also need to normalize that that is not always the way it's going to happen. If I had ranked up fast, um, I probably would not, I probably would not have been able to keep it because even ranking up, if you're not doing the personal growth, you're still going to have the same issues as an emerald and a diamond that you did as a senior gold or gold, if you're not working on the personal development, if you're not working on your mindset, it's still, you're, you're going to get to that rank and you're going to feel the same. So we are moving forward now. My team is in good momentum. Um, we just started a new mentorship program that we have a lot of new girls in, um, and it's a step-by-step, -step, um, everything that you need to do. Um, from the beginning, from making your first post. And we're also having weekly Zoom meetings where we're going over the mindset stuff and doing the book clubs. I saw that you guys do that so that they know that it's normal to have these feelings um, when they're starting out with the business. Because if we're not normalizing it, then people are going to think, you know, that something's wrong with them. Um, other things that um, I've done, I did join a coaching group um, in the last six months. Um, I, I joined um, Emily Gibson's Beyond the Rank. I have not personally had any one-on-one -on -one coaching with her, but I watch her coach other people and she's fabulous. I really love the way she works through everybody's mindset. And um, something that I needed to, need to hear um, because it's something that I'm always, always saying, and it's not true, is that you're never behind. You know, you're not behind. Um, you're exactly where you're supposed to be um, in this moment right now. So all you can do is move forward from that. Um, okay. I probably got a little bit, <laughs> a little bit off track of, of what else you wanted me to, uh, talk about. So, um, this is perfect, just, Lisa. I, I mean, raise your hand if there is anything that Lisa said that either brought you to tears or you could relate to raise your hand. Lisa, do you see all of those? Oh, that makes me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have been down in the mud so many times, 
so many times I could have quit so many times it would have been easier to quit but I also have known deep in my heart that this is for me and this is for so many people and something else that I have really focused on in the past year and a half is that it's not about me like even just coming onto the Zoom tonight, like I didn't want to do it because I was scared, right? But if it could just help one person, like wouldn't that be worth it for me stepping out of my comfort zone? And now I love being able to coach my team on that, that it's not about you. Yeah, they're saying no, but it's not about you. This is about them. What do they need? What are they ready for? How can we help them? You know, it goes back to what they tell us, you know, in Plex it's like, how are we able to serve these people? How can we serve them best? It's not about us. And once we take that pressure off that it's not about us and our goals and that it's about helping them, I think it, I feel like it just gets so much easier. My favorite thing now is, is watching my girls reach their goals, watching them add people, watching them get excited, watching them rank up. I was in tears, guys. You probably saw me. I was a blubbering one up at the front when the senior goals were walking across the stage at Leaders Retreat because I had one senior goal walking across and I could not stop crying because I was so happy for her. So it's just making it about other people. So and if you think that people don't want this or don't need this, look around because they do. You know, I mean, going back to the people who are ranking up fast and adding people, if anything, that's showing you that people are looking for an additional source of income. People need this. I mean, we know the products work. But the income opportunity, it was such a um, such a mindset trap for me to not share the business before. And it's probably because I didn't because I didn't believe that I was doing good enough that I could share about it. I didn't I was like, oh, I'm just a gold. I can't share about the business. Oh, I'm just a senior gold. I can't share about the business. Not true. Do you know how what life changing money three hundred dollars a month can be for people right now? $500 a month, $800 a month, $150 a month, that can be life-changing for people. And so just switching my mind around to that um, and making it about them and not about me is is really what, what, what keeps me going. So that shift for you happened after Ohio when you said, I'm going to bring people with me to Nashville, to the next convention. So that kind of like spurred you into, I need to stop just doing the product sharing. And then the next step was that you started intentionally pursuing and, and asking people that you really felt like could be amazing at the business. You started messaging more about the business. You started to grow in your own mindset. Um, you started to do coaching. You started to do training and just having those conversations with people about the business. Anything else that you felt like you did there that I'm missing? Because I know a lot of people are like, I don't have any business builders or the people that I had doing the business, they're not doing it anymore. I don't know how to duplicate. Like that's like the number one thing that I hear. I know it is for you as well. Anything else you would recommend outside of personal growth and pursuing people for the business? Yeah, building relationships, building those relationships online. Because before I reached out to Abby about it, I knew that I wanted her. So I was just chatting with her about other things too. So I try and be real into, I'm not doing like a ton of business reach outs a day. I may not even do a ton a week, but the ones that I am doing, I'm very intentional with. I'm building relationships with these people. And these are people that I want on my team. I'm, I'm at the point now where I just don't want people to come in for like a season and then go. Like, I want people to come in and stay. I want them to see the value of the products. I want them to see the value of the business. And that's kind of like this mentorship group that we're doing now. Like, we're vetting them first. Like, you have to go through this step and this step and this step if you want to be coached by us, if you want to be in this business. Because if you can show up to these first three, then we know that you will have a vetted interest in it. So building those relationships, loving on people, um, just just being real, just being authentic, just, you know, and 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 when I am, and when I do end up reaching out about the business, it's not where I would have been three years ago reaching about the business without the belief in being scared. Now I'm reaching out the business and I'm excited. So, you know, whether it's in my voice or in my text, like, like, I feel like people can, can read you. Like if, if, if you're sending something and, and you don't really have belief in it yourself, like, I feel like people can, can, can read that from, you know, whether from your text or your voice message or whatever. So if you are having those doubts about the business, and reaching out about it, go listen to Brittany Howard's 
because I'm telling you, I listened to that over and over and over and over again. In fact, I might go listen to it again because it's that good. Like, what are you believing about the business? Because there's really nothing else out there like this company, truly. But that's what we have to tell people because they don't know. They don't know what they're saying no to unless we are giving them the full picture. So um, thank you so much. One question, and if you guys have any other questions, either put them in the chat or unmute yourself. But one of the questions was, do you have any like personal growth recommendations or book recommendations uh, for confidence that you can do the business? Well, I will say one of the first books I read that really got me out of my rut was, um, what is it? Get out of your own way or uh, do you know what I'm talking about, Emily? Get the hell out of your own own way or something like that she's she it's it's about network marketing and she she lays it out there like in in no bull terms so that's a good one um i love obviously the john maxwell books um a really really good one to build your belief in the industry built to last we're reading this one right now this is my second time to read this this is a really good one um how to let's see uh Oh, I'll have to send you a list. I'll have to send you a, a list because put on, I, I should have had those. I should have had those out here. They're probably on my bookcase, but yeah. And That's you know, I'm not really fantastic about sitting down and reading a book, um, but I will always put a podcast on a podcast or a YouTube video um, or one of Emily's training videos. Um, I always go back to Christina Williams and Brittany Howard's YouTube videos. I think they have really good team trainings um, and they're both, you know, pretty much the same way. They'll talk about it. They're like, well, I know how, I know how you're feeling this way. I felt that way too. I still feel that way sometimes. So it just, just normalizing it. Well, Lisa, this was incredibly inspiring for so many people. I think the, the thing I want to leave us with as um, you, um, you know, as you depart is I love so much when she was saying that she was, you know, rolling her eyes at this friend of hers but then over months, the phrase was, I started to feel hope again. And she wasn't commenting on her friend's post. She wasn't engaging. She wasn't asking questions, but she was watching her friend share on social media and that built this hope in her. And so we hear often like our company is the health and or the hope, wait, health, hope and happiness company. And I think sometimes we just kind of like breeze past what that can mean for people. Um, and so I appreciate you saying that. And I appreciate um, the confidence that gives to all of us as we are sharing and we may not be seeing responses or engagement, but knowing that people potentially are finding hope in what we are sharing and there's something stewing inside of them. Um, Lisa, thank you guys. Thank you so much. You guys go follow Lisa. Um, and then, yeah, I was going to ask you, I'll, I'll get in touch with you um, for the exact Brittany Howard video. I think Karen. Oh yeah, here. absolutely. Yeah. And then just your list of books that you would recommend. And um, thank you, Lisa, so very much. We appreciate you so much team. You guys stay on, but Lisa, everybody wave to Thanks, her. Thanks guys. Thank you. You did amazing. So good. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Happy March. <laughs> Go get them. <laughs> Bye Lisa. Um, okay. Well, you guys, I think that was worth, um, going a little into our book say. So we've got about 12 minutes to go into our book say. I hope that this gives you some life and some encouragement that, um, you might be in a place where you are feeling stuck, but that doesn't have to be the end result of your business. She was stuck for a really long time. I actually just finished listening today to a Marissa Adams, um, podcast or video that she created. She put it over in our rubies and above like high coaching thread and I can send it to gold diggers. I might even put it in uh, rising jewels, but she talked the same thing. Marissa talked about her being stuck for two years. And the thing is we all have seasons and she, Marissa said, I'm so thankful. I didn't rank up to Emerald in the timing that I wanted to, because I would have missed out on so many lessons. And that's really what Lisa was talking about too. She wouldn't have been ready for the growth that she really wanted. She needed to go through those lessons. She needed to go through that season of stuck um, to grow as a leader and then to really appreciate where she is and to lead her team. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think that was really, really sweet. 
we will go ahead and transition. We've got about 10 minutes to do our last little section on the power of five. And then again, I put in the chat here, so scroll up. I put in the chat the link to the post in Rising Jewels for the next book study that's starting next week, the 11th. I really want everyone to commit to one of the three um, topics and then comment which topic you're going to be in. And then we'll put you into our own little thread. All right, anybody have questions, thoughts? Okay, perfect. All right, so if you are with uh, Kara's group, you're gonna go to breakout room or breakout one. If you are with Hannah, Liz, and Lacey, you're gonna go to two. And then with me, you're gonna go to three. And this is to do the last little bit of our book study. Anybody need me to move you? Rhonda, I'll move you. Yes, this is Rhonda. You'll need to move me. Mine's not letting me do it. Okay, I'll move you, Rhonda. Thank you. my taxes 